Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this uh, tutorial from CMPM Studios. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a icon just like I did right here for CMPM Studios. It usually has two letters, but this one I had to make four because we're CMPM Studios. But, you know, either way works. I don't think you can do much more than four, but whatever you guys want. And uh, this other one I made with two is right here. This one looks pretty good too. Uh, so that's what we're going to be creating today. So hope you like it. Alright, so we need to open up Photoshop. I have Adobe Photoshop CS3, uh, CS3 or CS4, anything b before works, I think. So go to File, New, and then you can name yours. I'm not going to, but it really doesn't matter. Your width is going to be 111 and then pixels. Your height is going to need to be 111, then pixels. And then your resolution needs to be 4,000 pixels inch. And then just look at this stuff or pause the video if you didn't get, any, didn't get everything right. So then hit OK. You're probably going to want to make this bigger. So just stretch it out by going to the corner. And now uh, we're going to want to unlock this layer. So double click it and then hit OK. Just that unlocks it. Now we need to go to layer, new fill layer, and then gradient. And then hit OK on that. Switch that to one, 120 so it switches around like that. And now you can double click this for your colors. I'm going to keep it on the one it's at. But you can also switch it to other ones like these. Because these are actually pretty cool too, I think. This rainbow one's pretty sweet. But anyway you guys can pick what you want I'm just gonna stick with the normal one that it came with and then for here you can change the color so double click that um uh I can choose a color right here I think I'm gonna go with a purple just for something newer doesn't matter too much just hit OK and make sure the other one's white or you can switch it but I would rather have white so just gonna hit OK after that and then OK and now we can start to add the text so click on your text tool make sure your text is 0 0.58 so then it'll show up you'll be able to adjust the size later and I'm gonna put this one a C and then come out here outside and kinda drag it down it's a yellow color I do not like that yellow color so I'm gonna switch this kind of to a black All right, so I just switched that to a black so now it's, it says C but you see how that's small it's really small what you need to do is click over here on the normal editing tool or whatever you want to call it you can kind of move that around hit control T and you see this big box comes up and then hold shift and I want to bring it out actually to make it bigger so just keep bringing it out bring it back in and that's almost big enough but I would rather have it bigger so that actually looks pretty good right there so just hit enter after you're done with that and now you can add another text just right click and you can duplicate your layer just hit OK and now it just pretty much duplicated that but uh, never mind I don't want to do that because I don't want the same letter so I'm just going to delete that go back to my text tool and make sure this is point five eight and sorry point five eight and that should be good so now make sure you're on your text I don't know what that did just gonna control Z sorry guys kinda new to Photoshop but I am really getting the hang of it but so 0.58 draw a box I'm gonna put this M it's gonna bring it down there that's obviously small so hit enter so that'll be good enough uh, I have no idea what that is so I'm just gonna delete that sorry 
and now I can go back to my normal edit tool. For some reason that got smaller and I kind of messed it up, but control T on the M, hit control T, and it'll bring this box up again, hit shift, kind of bring that out, and that is looking pretty good right now. Just kind of make that a little bit bigger, and I'm going to go back to my C. If it'll let me, oh, I need to hit enter after that. Now I can go after my C. Click on it, hit control T, and then hold the shift out and bring it back. Just to whatever size you want. It needs to be a little bit bigger, so that actually looks pretty good right there. I'm liking it a lot, so now you can go to layer, layer style, and then go to bevel and emboss, and bring this down to 1% and as you can see that kind of gave it a little bit of a 3D look but not much but you know at least a little go back to layer layer style and then drop shadow and this will come up you need to make this one 15% and you can keep you can mess around with this stuff I'm just gonna keep it the same and that kind of gave it a little shadow, I guess. A little effect to it that you don't notice too much, but you notice it after a while. I think that looks pretty good now. So we are finished. Now you can go to File, Save As, and then pick a spot where you want to save it. I'm just going to name it Logo Icon. So now I can hit this drop down on the format and you can save it as a JPEG or you can save it as a PNG. I recommend PNG just because it's a little bit better. Let me see if I've made some other icons there, but anyway, hit save and then hit OK and now you're finished and you can upload this to YouTube. Just go up to your account settings and hit change and find the file. Alright, thanks guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more and uh, see you later.